Assalamu alaikum viewers welcome to my channel genome wide study if you are new on my channel please subscribe and press the bell icon so you will get the notification of all the new videos so this is the video about long non coding rna and it is about the database 2 and it is a part 1 of this video in this video we will talk about another long non coding rna database that is alnc in the first database that was scanned tata the link of that database is available in the video description and also the link of this database you can find in the video description if someone is working on such species which is not listed in the can tata database then he can find it in this database and he can find the related long non-coding RNA in that especially from this database so how to use this database let's start so when you click on the link that is provided in the video description so the window is appear like this type so this is the first page that is a home page and it is about the introduction of this ALNC database. It says that this database contains a lot of long non coding RNAs from angiosperm. From angiosperm, they have collected about 10, 855, 598 long non coding RNAs from 809 RNA seq samples and from 6. 82 682 flowering plants by using the machine learning approach and this was mentioned in that paper that is seeing at all that was published in 2021 in plus one journal and here are described some features of the that long that a l and c database so you can read it but first we will go that how we can find or search the long non-coding RNA in our species. So go to the search and click on simple search or advanced simple search. But remember that for finding the long non-coding RNA in your species from this database, you must know the cloud of your species that your species belong to which clad and order of your species family then you can find easily from the this database if you didn't know then it is difficult or hard to find out the long non-coding rna from this database so here is the clad so for example we select here the monocots here for example we first select monocards and then in monocards there are different orders so anyone you can say that asparagus so we can select the order asparagus then from this uh, there are a lot of species uh, sorry families so you can find anyone lac we can touch and then here is the species in a LAC family, the two that is Allium stevum, sativum and Allium commutatum. So Allium sativum we select and then here is the probability is you can keep it as it is because here it says minimum 0.8 and maximum 1. So here you can click get the results. So click on it. So it will go through to this database so these all are the long non-coding rna present in the allium stemum species these are the long non-coding rnas present in that species this is a species name and this is the tissue so these in the data from where they have collected these long non-coding rna the tissue was not mentioned so here they said not applicable this is the sample score 
this is the ncba link of that data source from where they have collected these date this data and here is the transcript id from which this long known coding rna was extracted and this is the length of that and this is the probability value so these are about uh, about 66 pages in which they these long non coding rnas were present so you can check it one by one or all one you can see when you click on this uh, id id so it will give you the detail of this log non coding rna so here it gives the species name and here is the transcript id from which this long non coding rna was taken and this is the sequence of long non coding rna and this is the structure basis of uh, the dotted structure of this long non coding rna if you copy this structure and paste it any software like femol or any other so to give you the 2d or 3d structure of that rna and here is the sequence length this is a gc content and this is a probability and here you can also find out that orf uh, cds and peptide sequences and here one thing that this is the secondary structure when you click on it so it will give you the secondary structure of that long non-coding rna so you can uh, right click and save image as and then use it into your manuscript or anywhere you want or simply you can here download secondary structure png or ps any format so here when we have clicked on uh, this uh, long non coding RNA ID, so it will give this information. If we click on that GJPF, so it will give to uh, us this information about that uh, RNA, a uh, long non coding RNA. This is the RNA extractor, RNA shipping contact, subsets, all this information is present. And this is when we click on that NCBI link, so it will give us that. Uh, detail of that experiment and uh, their author and their all strategies so you can get the information uh, from here the SRA data number so the, in this way simple search we can find out the long non coding or in a specific species or when you click on browse or through browse so you can simply go, go there way this page is designed to facilitate the user to search in alnc by browsing the plant species by cloud order or family so you need to know your species clad order and family so and then you need to click on first clad and then order any order and then a species family so family and then the species present in that uh, families and when you click on that uh, species present in that family so it will give you the same page attracted to same page and uh, then you can find out the long non-coding rna so in this video and this is the part first r1 in which we have find out that how we can search or browse the long non-coding rna in a species in a l n c database so in the next part we will do the blast analysis and the comparison between mrna and long non-coding rna and how to download these so this is all about long non-coding rna in a l n c database and this is the first part so stay tuned we will meet in the next part thank you